The following telephone recordings were made in 1978 and 1980 by Evan Doorbell from a Greenville, North Carolina coin phone. There was a problem in the way the Greenville, Maine office restricted its coin phones from toll. I didn't discover this until 1978. Recording from 919752. This office is an NX1, which also serves as a toll center for this particular area. And uh, it does not have TSD, which means that from coin phones, one cannot dial long distance calls directly. If one tries to dial long distance calls directly, one gets a recording after three digits. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number or try your call again. We are sorry, you have reached a number that has... What I did there was attempt to call Atlanta from a payphone. I dialed 1, and then I started to dial area code 404, but I got just as far as 1 and then 40, and that's when the recording came on. Now it turns out that the way they restrict toll from NX1 coin phones is by having the initial digit 1, normally just a dialing prefix to indicate you're making a long distance call, they have that digit 1 actually count as a translatable digit. So while from home phones, the initial 1 only puts the register in a different mode and the first translatable digit is the first digit of the area code you dial, in this case 404 for Atlanta, they make it so that from coin phones, the one itself counts as the first digit. Then, when the system goes to translate the three-digit code you're dialing, it says 140, that's invalid, and puts you into the recording. By making it so that from coin phones, the initial digit one counts as a translatable digit, they can very quickly and cheaply restrict coin phones from long distance, because all the codes beginning with one obviously are not assigned. As another example, let's try to call Pittsburgh, area code 412. I'll dial 1 and then 41, but that's as far as I'll get before I should get the recording, because of course there is no such code as 141. <laughs> How about that? Looks like the phone company's plan to restrict long distance by having the digit one really count as a digit is backfiring in this case, because for some reason these 1XX codes are being handled using the same translation that is used at the tandem level of this NX1. You see, the Greenville NX1 that has 752 and 758 in it also is a tandem for this entire part of North Carolina, and as such, it has to handle certain codes that operators use. One of those codes is 141, which is the North American code for rate and route, an operator who tells you the rate or the routing for a particular place. Operators call 141 when they have to find out something that they don't have in their own information. So 141 is a valid code at the tandem level, and somehow, when the payphones dial these 1XX codes, they end up being subject to the translation table that is used for the tandem level of this switch, and that's why the 1XX codes are, to some degree, dialable from Greenville payphones, but of course not from Greenville home phones, because that initial one, as I said, doesn't count. So you have to go to a Greenville payphone, and then you can do all this cool freaking stuff having to do with the 1XX codes. Now, Root and Rate is an operator that goes off hook and this is a post-pay payphone that's designed for making local calls. Because it goes off hook, I'm going to have to pay 20 cents or more in order to talk to this operator. So let's try it again. I'm going to pick up this phone and dial 141, and then when she answers, 
I'll put in a quarter so that I can talk to her, and then I will act like an operator trying to get a routing. Operator's route, Monterey, Mexico. Right. And we have Monterey, Nuve, Leon. Is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you mark 528 3 plus 6D. And 180 plus 83 plus 6D for numbers. Operator's is 171 plus. I'm sorry, could you run by that, run that by me again? Mm-hmm. The operator's route is which, what you asked for was 171 plus. Right. Okay, but you mark 5283 plus 6D. Okay. For numbers, it's 180 plus 83 plus 6D. Oh, okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I was treated like an inside employee because 141 is something that customers are not supposed to be able to dial. Another code, which only operators and inside people could dial, was 121. And 121 was the standard code for the inward operator. Now, every small toll center in these days, 1978 through 80, had a way to reach the local operator in the area. If, for example, an operator in Atlanta were having trouble getting through to a number in the Greenville, North Carolina area, she would dial 919, the area code, plus 063, the routing code for Greenville, plus 121, the code for the inward operator. So if we pick up the phone and dial 121 here, instead of going to the vacant code, we instead get the Greenville inward operator. Here are three calls to Greenville 121. On the first call, I just hang up on her to find out whether she can hold me up. One moment, please. Well, that answers that question. So next, here's a demonstration of getting assistance through the inward operator. First, a call to the East Carolina University switchboard. Assistance in reaching 758, uh, I'm sorry, 7576131. Just a minute. inquiry later. Alright. Bye-bye. Okay, now one more. I'll just pick a number at random from the yellow pages for a movie theater. This should provide a recorded announcement that talks a while and then hangs up at the end. Assistance in reaching 7560848. 60848. Right. What trouble are you having? We're getting no ring. Thank you.
Slave Lane through Wednesday. Shows several nights a week. Hmm. Slaves of Pleasure. I'm trying to remember that from 1978. Doesn't seem like it's one of the top movies. There was Jaws 2, Grease, uh, even Animal House, but... Slave of Pleasure. Starring... Uh-oh. Uh, I think I just called the wrong number. Remember, you must be 18 and have an ID. Showing only the finest in adult entertainment. Oh boy. Well, that's what happens when you pick a number out of the yellow pages and you don't know what you're calling. In the meantime, do enjoy the NX1 power supply noise, which on this call is actually quite pronounced. Through. I'm pretty through. Yes, we are. Thank you. Now, come to think of it, that place may have been showing other films called Jaws and Grease. I hope not Animal House, but anyway, I left this call in this presentation because, as it was intended as a demonstration of NX-1, it serves that purpose well. The power supply noise here bears a remarkable similarity to another telephone system that you normally wouldn't think about at a time like this, and that is Western Electric's AIS. Here's the power supply noise we were just hearing. And here's an example from AIS. What number are you calling, please? What is she, what? She, um... Well, this is a noisy thing here. True, but it is interesting to compare it to the NX-1 noise. Anyway, 161 was a code for reporting technical problems. In most small toll centers, like Greenville, 1150 goes to an operator that is pretty much the same as the inward operator, except she would have different functions. Here's what happened when I dialed 115. This has dumped into a rather noisy trunk with NX-1 power supply noise on top of it. The trunk gave a flash handshake and I'm now holding on to see what happens to see if this times out to a reorder or a recording. Perhaps that can tell us what this trunk is too. cut off to the local ubiquitous busy signal in the Greenville NX-1, the reason being that there's no supervision grace on local calls from an NX-1, so a short flash is considered a completed call. From a crossbar 5, that short flash wouldn't count and you could stay on forever, but the NX-1 has to cut me off to the busy. Surprising, though, that whatever was at the other end didn't time out to a recording or a reorder. Now, there were some 1XX codes that were meant to be used with digits following. In other words, not just a three-digit code, but a three-digit code plus more digits. An example of this would be the 160 code. The various international operators, which were used to set up international calls manually, were reached by regular operators dialing 160 plus three digits. 
If we pick up this phone and dial 160, the call will start to go through even though three more digits are normally expected. As a result, Greenville will just send 160 by itself to its home office, which in this case is the Rocky Mount 4A. Rocky Mount, not having enough digits to translate it properly, will give us a recording. We're sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please try your call again? This is a recording. 9199. We're sorry, your call did not go through. The code 180 was also used by operators to complete to numbers in Mexico, and it expected even more digits. For example, to call Monterey, Mexico, operators would dial 180 plus 83 plus 6D. Since from here 180 goes through on just three digits, again the call gets stopped at the first office that would translate it, which in this case is the Greensboro 4A. Now the nice thing about NX1 registers, or regos as they're called, is that you can dial digits even after the MFing has begun, and they will tend to get added to the MF sequence. This is extremely useful here, because these 1XX codes start going through after only three digits. And in many cases, that's only good enough to get a recording. But by taking advantage of the NX1 digit squeezing capability, we can add more digits onto the end of these codes as long as we dial them quickly enough. So let's try digit squeezing with one of these codes. Uh, when I say let's try, I'm not proposing that anybody try this, because you can't go back to the 1970s and try it. This stuff is over, done, kaput. I'm just saying listen to the tape as I try it in the past. Or climb into a time machine and try it yourself, damn it. And will you bring a digital recorder, for God's sakes? You know, if I'd known the importance of high-quality recording back then, I wouldn't even have made these recordings. I would have just waited for me in the future to come back to that time in my time machine and do it. So... Oh, sorry. Blowing my cover there. But anyway, I'm going to dial 160 and then 630. I'll have to dial the last part really fast because i got to finish before the MFs have finished sending. In fact, I'll have to dial while it is MFing out so you won't hear all the tones but that should actually get us to the international operator. Well, the operator, of course, goes off hook, and so I can't talk to her. I tried shouting through the earpiece, as you heard, but she didn't hear. So while I'm on the line here, let me flash my switch hook, which actually is going to send a momentary on hook signal down the line, and that will re-ring the switchboard. When she answers, I'm going to pay a quarter this time so that I can talk to her. International, may I help you? Yes. At this point, I ask her to plug into the outgoing trunk and key 404121. That's an unusual request. Uh, 
Atlanta. That's Atlanta inward, and at this point I made a completely normal request for assistance in reaching a number. Thank you. after you hear the tone and be sure and leave a number where you can be reached you'll have about 15 seconds in which to record your message now i flash my hook switch a few times which creates a really wonderful long distance network sound because you can hear the flash going down the line appears that when I flashed, I lost the ability to talk to the operators. The payphone must have reset. In any case, if I flash now, it will re-ring the international operator. International country, are you calling? Well, this little mistake they made in toll restricting the payphones is kind of interesting. We can dial the network codes beginning with 1, the ones that work go through on only three digits, which would prevent a lot of these things from working, except for the fact that NX1s allow you to digit squeeze, so that code for Mexico, 180, could also be used to actually reach Mexico if I can dial the rest of a number quickly. In the next segment, I'm going to do that. We'll see what we can do with the code 180 and other codes for Mexico, as well as codes for Trinidad and Kingston, Jamaica.